What's going on, David Dreamers? Mathers here with another episode of Just One Battle. We are still playing the RU Suspect test here. I've got this team, which I'm planning to use in the uh, lower tier series, the RU one, which is happening later today. Uh, we'll see how this team does. Might need to make some adjustments. We'll find out. They already did one battle, and they did good. And before that, they did a bunch of battles that I didn't record. They also went okay. The team had trouble with Mega Camerupt and Amoongus. Those are like the two biggest threats to this team. And look at that, there's an Amoongus. But I did realize that I need to abuse my Escavalier a little bit more because it is it does have overcoat, which makes it immune to uh, sleep powder or spore, I mean. And it does it's also immune to the poison type stab and it also has Mega Horn for it, so although Mega Horn is neutral because of poison typing. But whatever. Uh, I'm thinking either the Amoongus or Rhyperior lead, so I'm going to lead with Mavis. Because I do have Taunt, so I can stop the rocks from getting up. I can stop them from sporing instead. And actually, he leads with Claude, sir. Maybe predicting me to lead with my Noivern. That is a problem. I can go into Brutus here, though. Hold on one second. I can't go into Brutus here because I do pack the Assault Vest, so I should be able to eat up a hit. Even though that was a crit, I still did pretty good. And I want to go for Giga Drain because I want to predict the Grass type to come in. But, I mean, not the Grass type, I want to predict the Rhyperior to come in on the Volt Switch. But I don't think I need to at this point because he could also go into his Amoongus or even his own Electros. Yeah, so he goes into Amoongus there. And I can go into Trap Jaw, actually. Yeah, Trap Jaw is a huge counter to Amoongus. What was I thinking? I just don't know this team that well, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but this is a pretty good position to be in. I think I can safely just go for a return. I doubt he's staying in, but return will just do most the most damage to the rest of his team. So that's what I'm going to go for. Yeah, clicking Volt Switch there was actually like one of the best plays I could have gone for because that gave me so much momentum and now I'm just like going to keep it rolling like this is awesome down goes his Amoongus that is what I like to see oh that is a big threat to this team it dealt with immediately and in comes the Hitmonlee uh, this thing is a problem and Stunk I think I'm just going to bring in here because Stunk is not useful really just kind of let it die. It goes for the fake out, and he does have normal gem. I can go for sucker punch for damage. Not going to be a lot of damage, but it will be damage, and also aftermath damage too. Actually, that is a solid amount as he goes for the close combat, and he takes the aftermath damage as well. And you know what? I might even be able to come in with an ice shard right here. Just maybe. You know what, he's at 35%, he's at half. I don't want to calc it, really. And no one else on my team outspeeds. So you know what, I gotta go for it. You know, I was just gonna say that Stunk has not really been pulling his weight on this team, but he actually just helped out a lot right there, so... You know what, I'll give him another chance. Let's see if I shard KOs. Hopefully it does. If I shard KOs, then Stunk really did pull his weight this battle. Nice, nice! Alright, that's two big threats dealt with by Mega Glalie. Mega Glalie is a is a is a powerhouse in RU right now. Especially with Noivern and Flygon running around lately. It's kinda crazy. Um I think uh Glalie is worth saving for the Braviary at some point, so I think I'll just go into my own Electros as kind of a pivot here. And then maybe go into my Scavalier. I don't know. Scavalier is risky because you could have the flamethrower. I also don't want um, Noivern taking much damage. I might go into. might get some damage on it first before going into Hitmonlee and then hitting it with. Uh, okay, it does show that he's physical, which is not good because I take physical. I take special hits better. But I am able to take that hit fairly well. I could, if I go Giga Drain, I could probably even hit him a little harder. He goes for a Coil, which is not good. But I'm doing 30% with that Giga Drain, which is not bad at all. A 
But I do want a volt switch, because I don't want this thing setting up all day. Goes for the drain punch, I live it, and I hit him with a volt switch. Uh, and I think my best play is to go into him on Lee and just go for a reckless high jump kick at this point. He is at one plus one defense, but even if I don't KO, I would probably bring him to a point where I shard will KO him or either like any of my other Pokemon will probably KO him. So I'm just going to go straight for the high jump kick here. He doesn't really have a switch. And he survives. And he goes for a drain punch. And we live it so we are okay. As long as I don't miss another high jump kick, this should KO. Unless I just got like high roll and I'm going to about to get a low roll. That would be pretty unfortunate. But I know Electros does not get priority. And we are able to score the KO there with Little Lee. Little Lee the base god. The top threat in RU. I don't know, he's not really the top threat, but he's a threat. In comes the Braviary, which I do outspeed. Crap, this thing's actually... My Brutus is actually really important for his remaining Pokemon. Uh, so I think we'll have to save Little Lee. Yeah, Buggerton is coming in. Goes for the Crush Claw. We resist that. That's nice. I think Knock Off is my best play. I'm going to go for it. Because if I can knock off this Choice Scarf, that would be nice. He also didn't get the defense drop there. Is he running? He must be running Sheer Force. Then. Okay, he goes for the Bulk Up. And takes that fairly well, my goodness. <sighs> Crap. This thing just became kind of a threat. I can't go into Trap Jaw. Hopefully he just goes for another bulk up or something. Or at least a move that I can live, because I can then outspeed him. Okay, he goes for a bulk up, so he is going to be at two times defense, which is not good. But this return is going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. Ah, he does live it. And he kills me with a Crush Claw. I think I want to I save uh, Little Lee for the Rhyperior. That thing is actually scaring me a lot. Because I don't even know if a high jump kick will KO. So I'm going to go into Mavis, which is, I think, the safer play right now. Because I can't easily outspeed and just hit him with, like, uh, Air Slash, I think, right now. And thankfully, I do not miss. So down goes the Braviary. And now... I think a high jump kick will KO Clotzer. I guess I'm not that sure. Um, but I do just want to get damage on whatever comes in. Rhyperior comes in. I think I just want to drop a Draco on that thing. So that I, c I know I can KO it with a high jump kick later on. And he almost just dies. But he does hit me with a Rock Blast. And down goes my Noivern. Unfortunately... I might outspeed. I'm going to try going into my Electros first, because thankfully I did so much damage to that Rhyperior that I'm actually not too scared of it anymore, and uh, I might even outspeed this thing. I don't... let me check. Rhyperior... Uh, Electros... Oh, I do. I can go for a Giga Drain get a little HP back. 
Yay. Look at that, I'm up to green health. Not really, though. Uh, in comes his Clawitzer, which I think outspeeds me. I'm pretty sure it does. I think Clawitzer has base 60, maybe 59. Let's check my Pokemon knowledge. 59. And I just click Thunderbolt here. I'm pretty sure he'll just KO me with something Water Pulse, yeah. Despite my Assault Vest, I will not be able to live that at that amount of HP I'm at. I'm going to go into Buggerton now just to get some damage. I don't really in int intend to KO. I could in KO with Megahorn, but I probably won't because he's at full HP. It just get a crit and he confuses me. And I hit myself in my confusion. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, if he pulls through right now, you better not KO right now. Oh, he does! Alright, so it just comes down to this. It comes down to, will high jump get KO? That's all it comes down to right now. <sighs> Please, little Lee the base god. Do your stuff. Do your stuff! GG. That's what that's... Oh, that's what Pokemon's all about. That feeling right there. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not going to talk any more about anything else, guys. I'm just going to end the video here, guys. Please make sure to leave a like button down below if you enjoyed, because your support does not go unnoticed. Leave a comment down below suggesting things to do in the future with this series. Subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, guys, keep dreaming. I'll see you next time. Peace out.